Hey guys, Jonathan here from Vapor Honing Technologies today, and today we're just having a little fun. Um, oftentimes people ask, you know, can you clean um, steel components, ferrous metals, cast iron, um, so on and so forth, all of the ferrous materials. And uh, yeah, you sure can. Um, what you want to do is, if you're going to be coating this piece or painting this piece afterwards, um, you're obviously going to want to use some sort of rust inhibitor, like a Hold Tight 102 is a great product. Um, a lot of times you can add it to the machine or I recommend a dip tank if you're doing very small you know parts like this dipping the part is very good so you can dip it in the rust uh, inhibitor solution and it allows uh, this part to stay uncoated for about 48 to 72 hours depending on the humidity um, and again there are many applications in the world where we have to use rust inhibitors in manufacturing uh, but in this example here this is just an old worn out probably 1960 rack and pinion gear here um, off of some piece of farm equipment. Um, so I found this on the farm the other week and uh, just wanted to shoot a video of this here. We're going to show you just how incredible the process is, how we can clean parts up like this, how you can sometimes oftentimes expose serial numbers or words and letters that you couldn't see before. And so we're just going to get started here, show you a little bit about the process. see where we started this was a very rusty rack and pinion type gear and just look at the level of clean even with a part that was as corroded and damaged and torn up as this um, you can see how clean you can get these pieces and parts so if you're restoring this you're going to repaint this um, this would be a great place to start from and yeah I mean you can see things that you normally couldn't see when this part wasn't blasted um, it's kind of evident here how it exposes some lettering and numbers that you normally couldn't see or make out. Um, so if you're a collectible collector or a restorer that does things like this in the uh, farm industry or antique industry, this would be perfect for you. But you can blast ferrous metals. Um, we did not use a rust inhibitor on this part. Um, we just dried it extremely fast so that it wouldn't flash rust on us. Um, but you can see the level of detail. You know, this part was very damaged, very weathered, but it cleaned up very well, very, very nicely. Uh, we pulled the rust off of the surface very easily. So if you have an application, you have a question, shoot us a call, um, send us an email. We're here to help, and uh, we'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching. Take care.